it's storytelling. I mean, you see a lot about storytelling these days and come to the forefront. Journalism is storytelling. I mean, it's history in a hurry, it's called journalism, it's called history in a hurry. But it is storytelling done on a daily basis. And that's what we're doing here, we're telling stories about the business. So that's Harris. But as I said at the very beginning, if you build this beautiful storefront, this blazing settled storefront, you better have something behind it to drive the content behind it because you're going you're gonna to get people's expectations up here and then you're going to disappoint them. And then you're going to be in worse shape if you've done nothing at all. Right? So you got to have the content engine behind it. And there was a CTC study done a few years ago that I was involved with at EDS where it's out of the idea of building the, uh, building the company story asset. Is that when you have a piece of content, how can you take and multiply that in many different fashions and parts and pieces to get the most most uh, most mileage out of it? And that's the idea behind the content engine here that I'll talk about. Because we let all of us come into the office in the morning and people are throwing lizards at us, right? I got this thing, I got this lizard, I got that lizard. And your, your job at the end of the day is to take all this stuff kind of flying at you, and with due respect to Mr. Escher here, right? And take and create it and get your hands on it and, and make it into honey and buzzing bees at the end of the day, right? But it comes at you as flying lizards, they want to go out the doors buzzing bees, okay? A newsroom with the framework and the structure you have behind it will help you do that in a more orderly fashion. It helps bring law and order to the process. And it does it in this kind of way. This is, this is, a, this is an illustration to give an idea. Any business has business issues coming at it. You can, I can substitute these in and out, it doesn't matter. Okay, if I'm a hospital, if I'm a manufacturer, if I'm a food thing, I got things. I've got business units here that are hunkering down with the CEO to come up with the CEO, the business agenda for what we're trying to do to run the place, right? What we want to accomplish for the year. That's all here. Your content engine in your newsroom is locked right into that because you're going to be driving all the content you're putting out there based on the CEO agenda. Now, there may be some things that fly out on the sides there, but most of the content going out the door is going to be locked in. You're going to put together an editorial calendar, a nap score to the quarter, and then as I create the content, I'm going to make deliberate choices of what channels I'm going to put that in along the way. And I'm always driving to the desired state. It could be one or two in your markets. It could be best in the industry. It could be any number of things. But you've always got a goal at the end of the driving to. So that when you present this and talk to the CEO or to your other business leaders, they know that you get it. To know that you understand what you're trying to do. Okay? And oftentimes, I think people run in, uh, PR people, they run around to a press release, they come up with an ad, they come up with a speech, and the executive goes, reads fine, looks great, guess it's important, right? But they don't know where it goes because you went out the door with something else, all right? This lets you put the content you're generating within the context of what the business is trying to accomplish. Put the content within the context of the business. You're going to embed the messaging. Your CEO up to your, your, your search engine optimization kind of message, and you want you to embed in your communications as you go along the way. And you can create a line of sight towards those year-end goals, and you're going to have your communicators and your journalists work together to develop the stories where the spot news customer tweaks everything out going out the door. And you're going to be responsible, the reporter or communicator is going to be responsible for creating the end-to-end -end product. I'm not just going to do a press release. I'm going to look at the, the content, and it appears in a press release, it appears in a speech part of the speech, it appears in the tweet, it appears in all different areas, but you're thinking broadly as you do, not just isolated pieces, okay? And then you're going to go through channels, but you're going to go to your audience and your channels and who you're trying to reach along the way. But this is a, a systematic approach to it. You're, you're creating this as a, as a factor. You're talking about the greater good of the industry as you go along. And that, and that raises the conversation. As I said, makes social media more, more logical and meaningful because you're making it in from the get-go and it's anchored in something larger. It's also for, it's, it becomes Ed's great work behind video work and behind photos. Because people are so visual these days, especially the web is so visually driven, they're always looking for great images, be it images or photographs or, or, or voiceovers or whatever to drop those in. This gets you a, a newsroom got you a way to get to the good stuff right in front where you've got it, it's available. You don't have to go through the advertising and all the other stuff to find out what you need. It also takes pieces that may have been dated, uh, dated and turn makes them more evergreen because you're breathing your life into them because you show how that piece of content relates to a bigger story that relates to the bigger story. So you're bringing stuff up again and again, all right? And you're using the narratives of the news magnet, which I showed you all the way. 
and you're bailing in measurement to maximize from the start. You've got this all factored in as you go. It presents a unified front to the company, a unified front, and it puts you in control in ways that you probably weren't in control before. And it gives you a very, very public forum to show your expertise in your, in your, in your products and the good work that you're doing in your, in, along the way. And it also keeps you on your toes more, because if that bad boy goes a week or two without new content, somebody's going to be knocking on the door. So it's, it's a way to keep you honest, all right? Keep you honest.